The fan title generator is a design idea in response to an alternative to traditional three-bladed turbines. This new design concept removes the rotating action and replaces it with a waving action that, through hydraulic pumps, drives a generator. Sitting on top of a long lever arm, this large wing swings back and forth, driven by the currents or a tidal stream. The complete unit is made up of a very broad wing, a long lever arm, internal mechanical and electrical components, and a base that, that fixes to the seabed. And whilst there are a number of options for attaching the unit to the seabed, the one shown here sits on top of a, of a screw pile. The base of the unit is a very strong steel cylinder bolted to the screw pile, and this supports the swing arm and the blades above. And at the top of the base is the all-important articulating joint. This not only connects the swing arm to the base, but also provides a connection point for all the hydraulic rams to connect. When the lever arm swings back and forth, the hydraulic rams push and pull fluid through hydraulic pumps. At the base of the lever arm, which we have made clear so that you can see inside of it, are all of the mechanical and power generating components. The two blue units that you can see at the base are the hydraulic pumps. These have some clever valve configurations that ensure that the output rotation is always in one, in one direction. The yellow box is a variable speed gearbox, there's a flywheel that sits just before the alternator, and inside the waterproof housing are a combination of house batteries and power converters or inverters. As well as the generator itself, also inside the waterproof lever arm are two motors that rotate the entire wing, as well as transforming its shape to provide better lift coefficients. Obviously, the wing needs to point towards the oncoming tidal stream and also have the ability to adjust its angle of attack to provide maximum lift and therefore maximum torque being applied to the hydraulic system. There are a number of factors that determine what the size of the wing itself and also the length of the lever arm will be. When underwater, the wing and the lever arm swings back and forth, driven by the currents, but controlled by an ever-changing wing shape and angle of attack, which is determined by a, a central processing unit. The swaying action provides a huge amount of torque to the hydraulic rams, which turn their pumps at high speed, which then also turns the gearbox and the alternator at even higher speeds. It's important for the shape of the wing to be able to morph to provide maximum lift capabilities on both sides of the wing. And even more importantly, the, the entire wing has to be able to rotate to the best angle of attack to provide the maximum power to the lever arm at all times. This style of tidal generator needs to sit in bodies of water where there is relatively fast tidal flow, but the units can be designed with different length lever arms and different size wings to ensure maximum efficiency. For demonstration purposes only, we have shown the units close to the surface, but they would otherwise be in, in much deeper water. And this is where this particular design is superior to the traditional rotating turbine design. It is very friendly to the environment, and its primary design feature reduces entanglement from debris in the water, particularly long lengths of drifting seaweed. As mentioned earlier, there are a number of ways the fan generator can be mounted to the seabed, screw piles being the most common and effective, depending on the depth of water and what the seabed is made from. The obvious installation location is going to be away from large ships and commercial traffic, or at depths clear of this traffic. The installation of multiple fan generators allow their power cables to be brought together and exit the water at a single point. The impact on the surrounding marine environment has been designed to be as minimal as possible, and installations into marine national parks can occur with minimal impact on the aquatic and marine life. The swaying action of the fan generator is gentle but yet powerful. 
and has been designed to look after the aquatic marine life and also provides a design alternative that doesn't get fouled by debris in the water, particularly long strands of seaweed that otherwise wrap around turbine blades. The design of the fan turbine allows each unit to be pre-assembled, tested and checked to be waterproof. The entire unit, including its batteries and onboard computers, are then lowered onto the bases and, and ready to be plugged in and connected to the grid, as well as remote control and monitoring systems. The fan tidal generators are designed to function within close proximity of each other, but need some space apart for efficiency purposes. Seabeds around the world vary in shape and composition and the installation process and techniques used will obviously vary as well. But the fan wing design is very well suited to this, especially in comparison to other designs such as the horizontal axis turbines. The fan tidal generator installations can be quite compact and obviously have zero visual impact from land in any environment. They can be placed in narrow tidal channels that still allow commercial and pleasure traffic to move around them. The biggest and most important component to the fan tidal generator is that it absolutely guarantees to generate electricity four times a day from one of the most powerful energy sources on our planet, the tides, the oceans. And combined with merging technologies such as battery storage, the fan tidal generators can play a vitally important role in moving away from burning fossil fuels to generate the electricity that we rely so heavily on. On our planet, which is nearly 80% ocean, the fan tidal generators are just one small instrument that can help us move away from burning fossil fuels for our power requirements and provide 100% green energy for our future.